Oh, there is the halfway point. All right, so Steven has taken off. I made apple crisp, that's what that was. Uh, more topping than apples, because that's always better. Uh, I'm working on the Ladies Paradise Five Meals, Zola, And I'm like 600 words into Nano today. It's okay. So one thing that I think makes Zola so great is just his character work. Um, and so right now in the Ladies Paradise, uh, we've got we've got Denise who is she's she's upset because she's been in love with 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 Uta and he's you know he's got a customer service face and that's what she fell in love with. But this poor Henri Deloche. I'm just gonna read this to you. I didn't want to offend you, repeated- he just confesses love to her, repeated Deloche, who was almost crying himself. She, he confesses love to her and she started crying. Uh, no, but listen, she said, her voice still trembling. I'm not at all angry with you, but please never speak to me again like that. Will you ask is impossible? Well, you're a nice boy, and I'll be glad to be your friend, but nothing more. Your friend, you understand? He was trembling. After taking a few steps in silence, he blurted it out. In other words, you don't love me? And since she was trying to spare him the pain of a brutal no, he continued in a soft, heartbroken voice. In any case, I expected it. I've never had any luck. I know I can never be happy. At home, they used to beat me. All right. <laughs> no, it's... It's a good time. Zola is always a good time. And, like, he is always saying a lot of stuff about capitalism, because that's kind of his favorite thing. Um... Not his favorite thing, his favorite thing to, like, be mad about um, is working conditions and capitalism, but it's a great time. It's a great, I, I'm loving it. my goal for the day I needed uh 1211 I'm at 12:35. obviously I'm gonna keep going but we at least have our bare minimum it's a little bit late for that it's like 3 16 p.m but you know it's still the weekend Truly, these are the movies that you want to be watching on this TV. Yes! Let's hope this one actually works. This is truly early 2000s horror. Look at these two. Oh my gosh. Kids watching The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. the best possessed child I've ever seen. You're great. Samara possessing Hayden is a much more loving child than Hayden actually was. And it's so funny. <laughs> Honestly, she's a better kid than he was. Hayden annoys the shit out of me. Another thing I love about this is that Samara, literally, the minute that she becomes human, has like a human body, the only thing she wants to do is watch TV. That's literally it. She just sits there, watch TV. Honestly, sacrifice that annoying kid. Let her stay in his body and let her watch TV until the end of time. Problem solved. Or even has emotional intelligence. She's the best kid ever. Thing with the Ring Part Two. Okay, I have not watched The Ring Part One. Okay. Um, I don't watch horror movie series in order. I not even like Saw or anything. But I'm gonna say, I like Samara way more than I like that annoying kid. Just let your kid be Samara. Have you considered that, Rachel? No, you gotta shut her in a well. It's not very nurtured heart of you, Rachel. Hit our goal for the day, which was 1199. We're at 1212, so obviously we'll write more, but to watch the best movie ever made. Oh, 
It's not going to help with me wanting to write anything other than Guillaume, is it? In total, 2099, so better than yesterday. Oh, we're getting close. Love how, as I'm reading this, it is falling apart, so we're just gonna have to sorta. I'm getting up because it's literally falling apart as I'm reading it. So I'm just going to add it to my Amazon like wish list and read it again another time. But we're just going to flop it right there in the trash. Because it is not surviving. Since I gave up on Andersonville because it was falling apart on me. I have read none of these books. So this is not an hour anymore related. Um, but I... I was working on the third Zero Co Cookies book today, uh, Flip Flop Felony, and I've only got five chapters left. So here's the thing. Could I finish Flip Flop Felony today? Not today. Not today. <laughs> uh, it's 6.30 p.m. There's school tomorrow. Uh, but this month, and then possibly have it out by the end of December? Maybe? Like, I'm way into writing Guillaume, but I'm nowhere near done with Guillaume. I'm still on the island, and that's part two or three. So I might focus in on Flip Flop Felony for my non-nano project right now. Currently for nano this today, I wrote uh, about 2,000 words. Let me see. Let me see. That's New York Times, not dot com. I want NaNoWriMo. Come on. I'm doing this with one hand. Okay. Today... 2,685, which is good. So I think I might just focus, I might take a break, step back from Guillaume as much as it'll pain me. Just work on uh, Flip Flop Felony. So now I want to get them for the end of the year. Never mind, we're finishing this shit tonight. <laughs> At least the, the the second draft. Obviously then we're going to get it, you know, shipped and everything like that. Flip Flop Felony coming soon. Finish draft two. It's pretty short, but I'm going to extend some of the chapters when I do my final rewrite. Um, but super excited. I didn't think I was going to get another book done this year, honestly, but awesome.